Mnakolo Kashana, the head of the Sasol Foundation, the center of excellence for all of Sasol's education investments. We are in Kanyagude district today in Guavuma, uh, handing over a science mobile lab um, to the schools in this district, uh, which is a, an asset that is very important for the advancement of STEM education in this region. We take investment in STEM education very seriously and we know a lot of rural schools don't have access to these facilities and can't afford them actually. So this means a lot to us as our contribution to the country's investments in STEM, but it means a lot to the district as well to have access to these chemicals and teachers and learners being able to make these experiments come alive uh, because it contributes a lot to their final examination, especially at metric level. It's always inspiring to see the final beneficiary of the work we do. The work we do is not very easy, but to get to see the appreciation from the Department of Education, from the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy, and how much they value their partnership and how much they hold Sasol and Sasol's investment in society at such high esteem, and how much the learners are hungry for learning, it makes me feel that the country is in good hands. I am Professor Rufus Wesi. I am General Manager of Osizweni Science Centre. Osizweni Science Centre is a Sasol supported centre in Pumalanga, Secunda. This is where our operations are based. The Mobile Science Lab program is one of Sasol's flagship educational programs that have been rolled out over the past 15 years in seven of our nine provinces in the country. And uh, to date, we're talking about uh, about 16 of um, these vehicles that are out there in different parts of the country, saving our learners in our schools, mainly rural parts of the country. This program, as I, as I indicated, started about 15 years ago. And I can indicate to you that when we started, we started in the boot of our small uh, um, um, vehicles at Osizweni. And we later on adapted that and um, adopted a model that involves a panel van like the one that you are seeing in the background that has its interior modified and fitted with shelves for safe transportation of chemicals and science apparatus. We call it a mobile science lab, of course, because it has got four wheels and therefore it can travel to schools. But experiments actually don't happen inside the vehicle. You drive the vehicle to the school to the school premises and when you get there you take out the equipment and the chemicals out of the vehicles and set them up in classrooms and literally convert ordinary classrooms into fully fledged laboratories in a matter of minutes and save the students uh, uh, with uh, um, um, worthwhile experiences, hands-on experiences in science. Um, is, is the science lab is quite strategic and important to the district, which is one of the poorest in the country. There's over 168 high schools um, and that are teaching maths and science, and the science lab will be used within those schools. This is a life-changing investment done by SASO. Uh, it is going to help us to make sure that we as a department and a country together with SASO contributes to skills development. Uh, we understand uh, that the energy sector and the mining sector are changing. We need high skills in particularly medicine, science and chemistry to assist South Africa to benefit uh, its minerals and move towards an energy transition trajectory. And we can do that if we actually have young people that are skilled, that are capable to take this initiative forward and make sure that South Africa moves in a low carbon trajectory. And secondly, that South Africa also has innovative skills that are critical to industrialize our own economy. As much as SASO is doing and have been one of the companies that has emerged from government-owned entities that have grown into becoming international companies because of its innovativeness and ability and agility to uh, make sure that it's competitive at global level. So SASO is giving back to the community to make sure that we have the skills and young people that are going to be working for SASO, working for South African industries. We are here today to accept a special gift in the form of a mobile laboratory that has been donated by SASOL uh, after working together with the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy. 
Now this is an important resource for our schools, especially in this area, because Mukanyagute is one of the most rural districts. So we are pleased that the schools in this area, where there are no uh, labs around and no other resources, so the schools will benefit from this special gift because learners will be able to learn science practically, see the experiments and, and, and perform experience that, experiments themselves, which is a privilege that many of us, when we're still in schools, we never uh, had.